Hey, you guys, welcome back to Married to Film. Listen, here's part two. Seeing our silent prisoner, she's offering a possible solution to the problem. Oh, he ain't nowhere yet. No, I mean, and you're wondering if you can trust her. No. I'll take everything I have, not to put my hands around her throat. <laughs> I know that I I can't would. believe I'm contemplating this. We both know the silence are experts at manipulation. They will do anything to confuse you. This is not the one who shot me. Can they really be that different from one another? Oh, man. D might take you out. Unless you cut your neck first. Dang. We need to work quickly. We're on borrowed time. Let her go. Yes, sir. Hold her neck, no. <laughs> Just in case. Do you still carry your father's pocket knife? I'll be dang on. Mm. Give it to her. Mr. Gata, can you set me up with a fiber optic comm link? I need broadcast to all frequencies and direct contact to the mainframe. Either it's gonna set them up, or it's gonna save them. Uh, save them. Drenus, here they come. Multiple targets. Bearing 371, carrying 552. Cylon Raiders. Bastards track this all right. Launch Vipers. Don't go yet. Man, that's a lot of Okay, so it's gonna work. The Raiders are gonna send a signal to activate the virus. You can take a few seconds. On my mark. Initiate the computer wipe. Miss the window. Fire sticks over every system in the ship. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta roll the hard six. Mm. Come in here. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, God. What the hell is she doing? Saving you. Starbucks. Starbucks. 
This is stealth shit. Starbucks, come in. Starbucks, do you ring? Mm-hmm. Of course you lost contact with the damn stealth ship, remember? <laughs> No, the honor's mine. It's remarkable. Just a ship, ma'am. Oh, you're much too modest. After what we've been through, it would be very easy to give up, to lose hope. But not here. Not today. This is more than a ship, Chief. This is an act of faith. It is proof that despite all we've lost, we keep trying, and we will get through this, all of us, together. I promise. Madam President, this was supposed to be a surprise, but, uh, well. Oh, how nice. How cute. I'm not gonna cry, though. I ain't gonna cry. <laughs> I ain't gonna cry on the day she just received the worst news ever. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna cry. Yes, you are. I ain't gonna do it. It's right here. Thank you. If you don't do us the honors. Please. Before Ty take the bottle to drink it. <laughs> that was lovely. They wanted to do that for you. None of this would have been possible if you hadn't trusted the silo. I took your advice. Met on common ground. What was that? We both wanted to live. Oh! Mm. Wow. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. Okay. That went by a little fast, though, didn't it? I mean, it's, we didn't have a lot of commercial breaks. Seemed like it. Okay. All right, well. That was a good one. Um, a lot of things went down. But <laughs> my mind is a blur. Okay, so <laughs> the Cylons put a virus on the shit, on uh, on Galactica to run through all their systems and, you know, the virus, everything. They shut them down and collapse upon themselves. Collapse upon themselves. Yeah. Um, so we've seen that take effect when they're at the firing range and the oxygen levels dropped. Um, so they reached out to uh, Baltar and uh, Gaius and lo and behold, yes, there's a virus. Um, Sorry, a, who's Baltar? Uh, the doctor. Uh, vice President. Dr. Baltar Gaius, that's his name. Oh, you gave his full name. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said Baltar and Gaius. Right. I'm like, who? Who's Baltar? Right, right. So, mm -hmm. lo and behold, yeah, they were there was a virus on there, and um, they told Hilo to. Well, they got to Hilo to tell him to go down to Sharon and show him the uh, the virus and see if she knew what it was and. Uh, so she did, and she told the Dama that they only had hours before, uh, like a sideline attack was imminent, and it was gonna be over. Cause pretty, oh yeah, it was a lot of them jokers out there. It it looked like doggone it Guardians the, of the Galaxy out there. It was the whole. <laughs> it did. Or <laughs> Star Wars. Man, it was everybody and their grandma out there. Yep. So uh, uh, you know so. <laughs> Uh, Adama had some choices to make to trust her um, to keep morale up as far as the ship was going because the uh, chief was trying to put together make make a ship out of nothing the morale was going down before that yeah. even happened everybody was walking around d -Dun got blown up from mm -hmm. the daggone ship and uh, Gata I think his name is Gata the one yeah. that's in control of the mm -hmm. CIC um, he lost it because Ty was just on him and he was like, Hey, listen here. So the morale was a factor because they're tired. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Which was, Adama made that clear to, to uh, 
Colonel Ty, which is why he let him keep working on the ship. If Colonel Ty was in charge, he'd have had them all killed. Well, when Colonel Ty was in charge, it was a whole bunch of mess going <laughs> on. But anyway, go ahead. Yeah, he'd have killed their morale with the ship. He wouldn't have believed uh, that Sharon could help. He wanted to kill her. He would have been drunk the whole time. Right, he'd have been drunk the whole time. <laughs> that joker took a jar. He sure did. He, he sure took a did. jar with him. He was like, all right, I got you. Go but, ahead, uh, keep doing What it. was that uh, little sequence with uh, Apollo and, and, and Duala? I mean, you know what? He's a... <laughs> <laughs> see number six the whole episode sure and i liked it sure didn't because she's she a mess with that phantom mm -hmm. sex oh yeah it's just you know phantom hashtag phantom sex right because <laughs> it's it's horrible when she around she just be just messing him up in mm -hmm. the head and stuff so but he was able to he he had a clear head this time mm -hmm. in this episode sure to try to fight back with the Cylons. Mm -hmm. so i didn't mean to cut you off but um so Toaster Sharon, <laughs> I don't know what what am I supposed to call her? Pop Tart. Uh, no. So Pop. No, no, we'll we we'll call her. What are we gonna call her? Pregnant Pop Sharon. No, I don't want to consider that baby in there. They said it's a fracking baby. Pregnant Sharon. I want to call her Pop Tart. Pregnant Sharon. That's disrespectful. So Strawberry Shortcake. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna think of a nickname for her, but she cut her hand so that she can plug in the um Time plug in the computer, computer yeah. yeah so that she can give them a virus back so the way um adama said it when he said it he was like the cylons gave us a virus we gave us a, we gave the cylons a virus back i was <laughs> like that is so smooth <laughs> that line he said as he was looking mm -hmm. on the face of toaster sharon um, he did get advice from Commander in Chief mm -hmm. about really trusting Cylon Sharon or not, or should he? He said, "Well, we came from a common ground. We decided we came to an agreement on a common ground that we both wanted to live." Because mm -hmm. he pulled that gun on her real quick, mm -hmm. and Hilo is a Hilo. She's so in love with Hilo that. She really believes this baby is going to be like a mm -hmm. prize for her. But, um, so, I mean, this was a really good episode. And, yeah, the, the whole Apollo trying to get up on everybody. I Listen. Yeah. Well, it's no different than Starbucks. She's, she got <laughs> oh, there, yeah. too. So, yeah. they built the ship. A stealth ship. Yeah. And so, that, that's going to come in handy. Let's talk about the fight, though. Because we forgot about the fight. The Hilo in chief. Oh, we forgot about that. Mm -hmm. So he was like, in the middle of the fight, he was like, I don't even know why I'm fighting. Mm -hmm. My Sharon did. Mm -hmm. My Sharon. The one I fell in love with. Mm -hmm. and he gave the plans of everything that he was going to do with her. Mm -hmm. With the Sharon that he thought that he was in love with. Before they realized that she was a Cylon. He said we were going to leave from here and after this tour or whatever. And we were going to get married and have our own babies. So I think that the idea of his dream being no more was mm. too much for him to bear <laughs> it was too much yeah, for him so to bear. Find another dream. so this was a, this was a really good one and then we also learned that uh commander-in-chief only has weeks left mm -hmm. if it does not if the cancer does not spread to her brain mm -hmm. so um on to the next one all right let's don't you guys start we'll see y'all next time love y'all yeah so say we all hey, wake up.